Quadratic Equations, Factoring, Level 3. Let's go ahead and jump straight into some examples. Solve the equation 4x squared plus 6x equals 0. Notice that we are still dealing with a quadratic binomial. So we first need to set one side of the equation equal to 0. We see that this step has been taken care of for us. Next step is to factor the quadratic equation. Notice that in this problem, both terms contain a constant and a variable in common. In this case, 2 and x respectively. So the GCF, or greatest common factor, is actually 2x. So we go ahead and factor this term out, leaving behind the quantity 2x plus 3. And like always, make sure you mentally distribute the factor back and make sure you obtain the original quadratic equation. Just as a check to make sure you factor the expression correctly. Having successfully factored the expression, we go ahead and apply the zero product property and set each factor equal to zero. Setting the first factor equal to zero and solving for x by dividing both sides of the equation by two, we obtain x equals zero as one solution. And setting the second factor equal to zero, we go ahead and also solve for x by first subtracting both sides of the equation by three. Simplifying the expression, we obtain the following. Next, we divide both sides of the equation by 2. Then we simplify the expression and obtain x equals negative 3 halves as a second solution. Notice that in this problem, we still obtain x equals 0 as one solution, even though the GCF of the quadratic equation contain a constant, in this case, 2. In the end, this expression will simplify to 0 when we solve for x. Okay, let's go ahead and try a slightly more difficult example. Solve the equation 5x squared equals 9x. Alright, this one looks different, mainly because we don't have 0 on one side of the equation. Notice that in the previous problems, this was already done for us. This time around, we actually have to do some work first. It's really not that bad. Remember, the first step is to set one side of the equation equal to 0. A word of caution. The way you do this is very important. Many students tend to do a very common mistake when trying to get one side equal to zero, especially with quadratic binomials of the form ax squared plus bx equals zero. I will first go over the incorrect procedure that many students try when they are face to face with similar problems. Many students look at these equations and instinctively want to divide both sides of the equation by x, as follows. By carrying out this procedure, the left hand side of the equation signifies to 5x and the right side of the equation signifies to 9. Then all we have left is to solve for x. Divide both sides of the equation by 5, obtaining x equals 9 fifths as one solution. And this is where the problem lies. We only obtain one solution. We need two solutions, and we know this is not a repeated root, because we didn't obtain it by taking the square root somewhere along the process. It seems that we have lost a solution, and this is exactly what happened. Remember, we always have x equals 0 as one solution. When dealing with these quadratic binomials, this method of dividing by x does not work because if x were to equal 0, the step where we divided by x on both sides of the equation would look like this. The error occurs because division by 0 is undefined. When students divide by x, they are assuming that x does not equal 0. If this was the case, then everything would work just fine. But because quadratic equations of these forms always contain x equals 0 as one of their solutions, you end up losing this solution by solving the equation in this way. So now that you know this common error, let's show the correct way to solve this equation. The correct way is not to divide by x, but to get all the terms to one side of the equation, essentially getting the quadratic equation into its standard form, with the degrees of the terms in descending order. So we actually need to subtract 9x from both sides of the equation. Doing this, we obtain 5x squared minus 9x on one side and 0 on the other side. Remember, the first step is to set 0 on one side of the equation, something that the incorrect method completely ignores. So make sure you try to avoid this mistake. Having set the equation equal to 0, we go ahead and factor the quadratic equation. The GCF is just x, so we go ahead and factor this term out leaving behind the quantity 5x minus 9. Now we apply the zero product property to each factor and obtain x equals zero as one solution. 
and x equals 9 fifths as a second solution. Notice that this method explicitly shows both answers, as opposed to the incorrect method where one of the solutions was lost in the process. Okay, let's try the final example. Solve the equation 3x squared plus 2x equals 7x plus 5x squared. This problem looks slightly intimidating, mainly because it does not look anything like the previous examples. As long as you remember the general procedure in solving quadratic equations by factoring, you will always have a method of some sort to get you started. Recall that the first step is to set one side of the equation equal to zero. So we first need to add and subtract like terms and get one side of the equation in standard form, with the powers of the terms in descending order, and zero on the other side. We accomplish this by first subtracting 5x squared from both sides of the equation. Doing that and collecting like terms, we obtain the following expression. Next, we subtract 7x from both sides and collect like terms, giving us the following expression. Having successfully set 0 on one side of the equation, we go ahead and factor the expression. The GCF is just x. Factoring this expression out, we leave behind the quantity negative 2x minus 5. The final step is to apply the zero proc property to each of the factors by setting them equal to 0. The first solution is x equals 0, and a second solution can be obtained by solving for x. So we first add 5 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying the expression, we obtain the following. Next, we divide both sides by negative 2, giving us the second solution, x equals negative 5 halves. Notice that this example required all three steps for solving quadratic binomials by factoring. Alright, and there you have it. This is how you solve quadratic binomials of the form ax squared plus bx equals 0. In our next video, we will continue solving quadratic equations by factoring. This time, we will apply this technique to quadratic trinomials.